Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with our gravitation. Okay, in last chapter, last video, we did tell our grab acceleration due to gravity at different positions, that is, at an altitude, on the surface, and depth. Today, we are going to do with gravitational potential energy. So, next is gravitational potential energy how we can define how we can state gravitational potential energy gravitational potential and potential energy means we already explained about the gravitational potential energy in work energy power are you remembering what is how we got it it is force in work done isn't it energy is equal to work done so work done how we can find out force into displacement mg forces acting to uh, take an object from h1 height to h2 height so what will if an if i'm taking if this is the earth an object is at a height h1 and i want to take the object to h2 what will be the work done over here it will be equal to mg and what is the work done to carry till this height minus work done to carry this height so mg h2 minus mg h1 so it will be equal to mg into h2 minus h1 this will be the work done to take an object from the position a to b work done to carry the object till b is mg h2 and work done to carry the object to a is mg h1 so the work done to carry an object from h2 to h1 is mg h2 minus h1 okay so that is for a fixed force now we are considering an object which is taking from a height r1 to r2 suppose this is the earth and this is at a height r1 and this is at a height r2 i want to take an object from r1 to r2 okay from a to b i am taking what is the potential energy gravitational potential energy how we can find out the gravitational potential energy as per newton's law we know f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square that means force is a term which is depending on the distance between the two objects isn't it so this is one object and the object which is over here that is the second one earth is one object and the object over here is another object isn't it so as the distance increases what will happen force also is varying so it is a varying force variable force how we can find out the work done to find out the variable force how we can find out integral xi to xf f of x dx this is the formula isn't it so what is the initial position r1 to r2 what is the force between these two so if i am considering mass of earth as capital m i can write it as f is equal to g small m capital m divided by r square so but that r is a variable quantity isn't it g into m m by r square into so this force will be varying with respect to the distance isn't it so it is dr we can represent it as dr okay so here g is a constant m capital m all these are constants right so we are taking it outside g small m capital m is taking it outside integral r1 to r2 dr by r square so what is this 1 by r square dr how we can find out integral we know 1 by r square dr equals we can write it as 1 r to the power minus 2 dr so it is minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 so we will get it as minus 1 by r so but you should uh, better 1 by x square dx is minus 1 by x like that you can by heart and study because in uh, while you are coming to the next uh, no, at is in 12th you have integration and at that time you should by heart all these formulas so instead of going for these steps 1 by x integral 1 by x square dx is equal to minus 1 by x like that like that you can diff, uh, uh, by heart better so here we are getting it as minus gmm divided by r 
okay and then we should apply the upper limit and lower limit so here we will get it as minus gm m by r2 minus minus of minus it will become plus g capital m small m divided by r1 like that we will get so if one is an infinite term so r if i am taking the object to uh, from infinity to a particular point so what will be that r1 value infinity so one one by infinity so usually we will write one by infinity as in uh, zero but it is nearly equal to zero it's not equal to zero isn't it so instead of this we can write down one work done is doing gm by if it is by infinity so while we are considering this as infinity this one i can write it as a constant term it is as w1 so that is if i am uh, taking an object uh, from infinity to a particular distance r okay then how we can find out the work done work done will be equal to minus gm capital m divided by r plus gmm divided by infinity so i am taking that value as w1 this will be the work done to carry an object from infinity to a distance r from the earth so this is minus gmm by r it is a negative value so this is the gravit this work done we will write it as it is the gravitational potential energy so gravitational potential energy equals minus g capital m small m divided by r okay this will be the work done that is equal to gravitational potential energy clear how we are doing this one so next we are going to study about the escape speed or escape velocity so what is meant by escape velocity we are going to study that okay next is escape speed escape speed means name itself it is that escape so if i am throwing an object upward direction what will happen after some time it will fall down isn't it it will come back isn't it so but escape means without coming back it is going in the upward direction itself okay so that speed that is the minimum speed required for an object to escape from earth's gravitational pull so earth is attracting all the object towards it isn't it that is why uh, it is coming down if for a particular velocity with a particular velocity if i'm throwing an object what will happen it won't come back it will be moving upward direction only so that is called as that minimum velocity or minimum speed is called as escape speed escape speed is the minimum speed required for an object to escape from earth's gravitational pull that is escape speed okay so now we are going to derive a formula for escape speed okay so here i am considering i am now i am throwing an object with an initial velocity vi okay so what will be the total energy of the object at infinity in at, total energy will be equal to half m v kinetic energy plus potential energy potential energy is w1 in the last uh, this one uh, derivation we took energy at infinity as w1 isn't it so next what we can do that is energy at a distance r okay what will be the energies over there that is kinetic energy half mv square plus and what will be the energy initial square plus potential energy will be minus gm m by r plus w1 energy at infinity that's yes, it so this will be the total energy uh, energy why we are writing minus gmm by r plus w1 because energy required energy that's potential energy at a distance r away from the earth is equal to the work done to carry a unit mass from infinity to a particular distance isn't yes, it so that infinity is w1 okay so the potential energy is like this we know as per law of conservation of energy next we are considering law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy we can write it as e infinity will be equal to er 
ओके ई इन्फिनिटी एस हाफ एम वी स्क्वेर प्लस डब्ल्यू वन दैट इज ईक्वल टू हाफ एम वी आई स्क्वेर माइनस जी एम एम बाई आर प्लस डब्ल्यू वन ओके सो दीज टू एनर्जीज आर ईक्वल डब्ल्यू वन एंड डब्ल्यू वन विल गेट कैंसल ओके सो वी कैन राइट इट एज हाफ एम वी स्क्वेर प्लस हाफ एम वी आई स्क्वेर माइनस जी एम एम बाई आर सो हियर वाइड वी आर लुकिंग इन टू दिस इक्वेशन सी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज एस स्क्वेयर एम इज अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू वी स्क्वेयर इफ वी इज नेगेटिव ऑल्सो वाइल वी आर टेकिंग द स्क्वेयर वॉट विल हैपन वी स्क्वेयर विल बी ऑलवेज अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो हाफ वी कैन राइट इट एज सिंस एल एच एस एस अ स्क्वेयर टर्म सिंस एल एच एस एस पॉजिटिव Since LHS is a positive term, we can write down RHS also will be positive. That is half m v i square minus g m m by r is a positive term. That means it is greater than or equal to zero. So while we are solving this one, half m v i square is greater than or equal to plus. While coming to the other side, it will become plus. is divided by r so here we are going to find out the escape speed escape speed means it is the minimum speed required isn't it minimum speed only we are calculating so here greater than or equal to so which symbol we can choose if it is minimum is equal to so now we are considering it as half m v i square is equal to g m m by r so here this will get cancel so vi square equals 2 g m by r therefore vi is equal to root of 2 g m by r okay clear so if we are taking the r as the radius of earth itself since h is very small compared to the since r is very small compared to the radius of earth so we can consider r e plus h is this r the what is this r r is equal to r e plus h r is equal to r e plus h that is nearly equal to r e if i am considering how we can rewrite this v i equals root of 2 g m divided by r e okay now i am multiplying and dividing with 1 r e so what is this g m e divided by r e square that is acceleration due to gravity g isn't it so we can rewrite this as 2 g into r e that is initial velocity so with this much of velocity if i am throwing an object it won't come back it will be going towards the uh, let's uh, the upward direction it won't be affected with the gravitational pull so while we are calculating this value for earth so there are two formula to find out the escape velocity one is 2 gm by r or the other one is 2 g into r e if we are considering the earth earth's escape velocity as 11.2 km per second that is in one second it is 11.2 km if it is moving or greater than this it will it can escape from earth's gravitational pull in the case of moon it is 2.3 km per second in the case of moon it is 2.3 km per second since their gravity is also less over there right so we will be getting the value of escape velocity as 2.3 km per second and thus uh, for earth escape velocity is 11.2 km per second that is since the escape velocity is less that is the reason there is no atmosphere in the moon what is the is and all these uh, air molecules and all will be moving upward direction it can't come it can't come down because it's uh, it is move if it is moving greater than 2.3 km per second so it will move upward direction okay clear so that is the reason since the escape velocity is very less in the moon that is about 2.3 km per second we can say it is uh, the escape uh, the, there is no atmosphere in the moon okay so clear all of you so i'm winding up for today now only the uh, earth satellites are remaining and that will be taken in the next video i hope all of you understood all those things if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye